Do you have a wedding dress sitting on your shelf looking for a new purpose? Watch today's video. I have an answer for you. This is me wearing my wedding dress in 1993 and the wedding dress has been sitting on my shelf ever since, but it has a new life now. We, I have made a tree skirt for a Christmas tree out of the dress, but I was left with enough to make some Christmas stockings. So today's video, I show you how you can transform your wedding dress into your Christmas stocking. Well, this is what is left of my wedding dress. Um, I made a Christmas tree skirt off out of it, and here's a picture of the completed skirt. I have a link uh, down below, did a video on how to make the tree skirt, but now we have the bodice, and trying to figure out what to do with that, plus a few pieces left over from the skirt, I have decided to make Ross and I uh, new Christmas stockings. So I'm just going to walk through the process that I'm going to do to try to convert this into a Christmas stocking. So I just hand drew a stocking uh, shape out onto some parchment paper. So I'm going to do Ross's first. And I have a scrap piece that is just big enough for a stocking. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out of here. And um, there is no finished edge on this one there is a finished edge on the other side that I'm going to show you in a second. So I need to leave this one just a little taller to, and so I have to scoot this down, need to leave that one a little taller so that I can um, have enough room to do a seam for the lining. And this is a part of the leftover uh, edge of my skirt of the dress. So I am going to have that be the top of the stocking. So need to make sure that when, um, I would just about made a mistake, this is this uh, facing this direction, this one will need to face the opposite direction. And then I'll cut out some lining. So I'm just going to lay this along there trying to looks like it is just going to fit just barely gonna fit so I might have to adjust on my seams so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out Okay, since this is a off-white color I am just going to use muslin to uh, make a lining. So I'm going to cut out um, two pieces out of this for the lining. The satin is a little flimsy, and I but I don't want to make it bulky with batting. So I've cut some fusible interfacing, and I am going to iron it to the lining before I assemble the uh, stocking. So I'm going to go um, iron this and then show you how to assemble it. Okay, here's what I have so far. I have the two linings with interfacing um, attached to it, so it's a lot stiffer, gives it some stability. And then here's my front and back. Since this already has been finished, I'm gonna do the same with this one. Gonna zigzag it and turn it over and just do a single fold hem. At the sewing machine then, I'm going to sew these right sides together and sew the lining right sides together. When I sew the, the pieces together on the actual stocking, I'm going to do just a, a solid quarter inch um, seam on the lining because I want it to make sure it fits in there without being too bulky. I'm going to go ahead and go a little bit more of a generous, um, maybe a 3 8 inch seam on the lining. Go ahead and clip your curves so that it can fold correctly. And I'm this is the lining, so I'm going to go ahead and trim that down just a little to reduce the bulk. 
and go ahead and clip the curves of your stocking and turn it inside out. So I haven't seen it yet, so you and I will see this at the same time. Haha, <laughs> looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, press this. And remember, when you're pressing a satin or anything, you always want to be careful that you don't get it too hot and melt it. Uh, so depending on your fabric. So I'm going to be careful and press this. And my hope, let's see if this is going to work. So before I go press it, I'm going to test this out. This is the lining. I'm going to put it in as is. I don't need to turn it inside out or anything. So let's see what we have. Oh, that'll be fine. Okay, so what I have here, without um, adjusting it too much, just to show you, I have the lining. So this is the interior of the lining, and I just slipped that in. Because there was already a finished edge, I once I get this all put together, so I'll show you, but I want to give you the big picture, I'm going to fold down the lining into each other, like this and hand stitch it into place. So um, that was my dry fit. It fits in just fine. I'm going to press this, uh, uh, slip the lining back in, hand stitch it. Okay, I had initially thought that I was going to make a hanger out of the, the pearls uh, for the, to hang up the stocking, which would be good if there was no weight in this, but I do plan on using this for Ross and I. But I do have some coordinating ribbons, so I'm just going to make a loop uh, to hang it with. I went ahead and trimmed my lining just a little bit closer. After that dry fit, I could fill a little bit of bulk. So again, you don't need to turn your lining inside out. I do have the cuff part turned down so that I could make it nice and smooth. So um, that'll probably get adjusted a little. So I'm going to slide this in the stocking. Okay, so I have this turned down a little bit too much, so I'm going to adjust it up. Fantastic. So now I am just going to take needle and thread and hand stitch the lining around the top. Uh, before I sew in the lining, I'm going to put this ribbon in the corner, and I'm going to go ahead and just hit that with the sewing machine so it's nice and tight. Okay, so there is stocking number one all done, and it turned out really, really good. So now I get to make my stocking, so on to the next one. The second stocking is going to be made out of the bodice. So this is literally all I have left. The really big puffy sleeves from the 90s, but I have my bodice, and I have little pieces left of the skirt that I am going to piece together to make this happen. So the first thing I needed to do is take the pattern piece and find out where I can most maximize the finished edge. So I am going to have this motif be the center right here of the, the stocking. So the finished edge is going to go down like this. Down here on the bottom, there's some uh, lace already on there, so I'm going to try to preserve. It looks like maybe just a little of it will go on to the toe, but since this goes down at an angle, I have pieced together some um, of the satin for the lining, so this will be the lining that is peeking through the back. I'm going to have a finished edge on the back of that. So that's one piece of lining. I need a solid piece of satin for the back, which I um, did find enough to do that. Then for the other piece of the lining, I am just going to use the same muslin um, on this side of it and just make it shorter. So there's going to be a little bit more of engineering as I go along, but that's the big picture. So first, I need to lay out my pattern pieces and cut them out. Okay, everything is cut out. So here is the front and the back pieces. 
and then I have the lining and then I attached interfacing to the muslin lining so that we could have some um, stability on the front of the stocking. I didn't uh, want to put interfacing on the satin. To be honest, I didn't know if it was going to melt it and I have no pieces left to use. So the, this is the lining. So I'm going to pin this together and probably going to just sew up about an inch from the end because we're going to have some more injury engineering here because remember this is going to peekaboo through there but this lining is on the back side of this so we'll have to slit down bend in our, our lining and then hand stitch it so we're pinning this together and we are pinning right sides together of the satin for the the stocking itself I'm going to do a quarter inch seam for the lining, I'm going to do just a little bit more generous, more like a 3 8 inch seam. After you have them sewn, go ahead and clip your curves and trim your seam, uh, especially on the lining. Uh, make sure that you have this trimmed down to be pretty, pretty close to your stitching. I turn my stocking inside out. You don't need to turn your lining inside out. It just slips in to the stocking as is. Okay, that fits fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Okay, so the rest of this is going to be handwork. This is the um, muslin lining. I'm going to go ahead, not going to cut all the way down, but just put a snip in there so I can fold it to get an idea of how we're doing. And then this is the lining that I want to be showing. And so I'm going to push it down just a little bit more and hand stitch these, the, the lining and the back together like that fold this down, hand stitch that together. But before I do that, I'm going to use the same ribbon I used on Ross's stocking. I'm going to machine um, a little loop here for hanging with this coordinating ribbon. And then we'll hand stitch in the lining and see what we get. Oh my goodness, so there it is. There is the completed stocking. I am blown away by how this went together. So we have a his and her stocking out of the bodice of my wedding dress. And we also have the tree skirt out of the wedding dress. All that is left are two big puffy sleeves um, that uh, I don't know if there's any use for those, but I'll put them away on the shelf and someday maybe some creative juice um, will hit me. Or if you have any ideas of what you can do with the wedding dress, Please comment down below. I would love to hear from you. But as always, thank you for watching DIY on the House.